Welcome back, YouTubers and Mad fans. This is Mad Money Shot. Sniff at the Mad Cheese as always. Got another Madden 22 preview video for you guys today. Today I'm going to be going over the top 10 best teams to take in Madden 22. Whether you play regular online game modes or CFM connected franchise modes, these are going to be the top 10 teams that will make it as easy as possible to win as many games as possible. These teams are going to give you the biggest advantage. I already put out top 10 offensive teams and top 10 defensive teams. I'll try to have links in the description for those. And if you want to see more more videos like this like a top 10 uh, sleepers teams list for people that like a little bit of a challenge when it comes to CFM hit that like button or let me know in the comment section and I will do that next other than that if there's a team on this list that you don't think should be or you think I missed a team let me know in the comment section as well and let's get right into the video now number 10 I kind of had to cheat a little bit I have two teams at number 10 because I couldn't really choose between them number one I got the Titans and mostly the Titans are on this list I mean, they have a really solid offense. They made my top 10 offensive teams, but they're on this list because it's almost impossible to, to just overlook the combination of Derrick Henry and Julio Jones slash AJ Brown. I mean, that's just an amazing combination. That's one of the most feared duos coming into Madden 22. With that being said, the rest of the roster isn't as good as just those two players. I mean, that's kind of the problem. Like they have a lot of areas where they're not just not really too great. I and mean, the team that they're sharing the number 10 spot with is the Rams. Now the Rams are a team, I would put them slightly ahead of the Titans. They both made my top 10 offensive list. Uh, Matthew Stafford made the Rams a, a much improved team. He has, he has a much better arm than uh, Jared Goff had. Um, you know, they have great receivers. They added Deshaun Jackson to receiving core with Cooper Cup and Robert Woods already. Uh, as far as the defense goes, I mean, they really make the list because of the same reason. The combination of Aaron Donald and Jalen Ramsey is just a rare combination. At number nine, I got the Cardinals. No more cheating from here on out. The Cardinals have, I, they're one of my favorite teams. I love mobile quarterbacks. Kyler Murray has it all. 91 speeds, probably the second fastest quarterback of the game. Uh, running back wise, I got a couple of good guys. They brought in James Conner. Chase Edmonds has been here for a while. The receiving core is really one of the things that sets them apart. DeAndre Hopkins, obviously, uh, they brought in A.J. Green, who hasn't done a ton lately because of injuries, but he's going to add something to this offense. They got a ton of speed. Christian Kirk's a really solid receiver. He might get lost in the shuffle, though, because they drafted Rondell Moore, who I don't know what his speed's going to be, but right here, that gives you a good indicator. 97 speed, that's a good indicator how fast that guy is. Then you go to the defensive side, and they really made some improvements. I, didn't, I passed right over Rodney Hudson. They did bring in uh, one of the best centers in the game to try to improve their offensive line, but they also brought in J.J. Watt, who's a much bigger addition when it comes to name recognition you have one of the best pass rushers in the league immediately transplant transplant on this defense and makes him that much better i mean this guy can stop the run he's going to get after the quarterback he does it all you also have one of the best linebackers in the game in chandler jones that's a tremendous one-two punch they also have a user favorite which is isaiah simmons i don't know why he's listed as a linebacker here i'm not sure if he changed positions but 94 speed linebackers or safeties is pretty rare and you can see this guy's six foot four i mean no matter where he is on the field he's an absolute monster the secondary solid they brought in malcolm butler uh, and they still have Byron Murphy. Then they also have one of the best safeties in the game in Buda Baker. Next up, we got the Saints. Now, this team here with Drew Brees, that's a no-brainer. With Jameis Winston, I almost didn't even want to put them on the list. Now, between them, him and Tyson Hill, honestly, I think I would go with Tyson Hill. Like, just the speed. 90-speed quarterbacks are pretty rare. So that's probably the biggest issue is they really don't have a quarterback. Other than that, though, they're still pretty solid. They got one of the best running backs in the game in Alvin Kamara. Uh, obviously, the Tavis Murray is a really good backup as well. Uh, receiving wise they really took a step back they really don't have a number two receiver anymore michael thomas is still one of the best receivers in the game but other than that they really don't have anybody Traquan smith is solid i guess uh, but they're kind of limited they don't really have a tight end either they lost jared cook they lost a lot i mean last year i think they were the highest rated team going into madden 21 um, this year, like I said, they lost a lot of really important things. They're still one of the best offensive lines in the league, though. On the defensive side, they're still really strong. Cameron Jordan's a great pass rusher. Davenport's a really good pass rusher. The defensive front's strong. They got good linebackers. Demario Davis is really good. Uh, Cornerback-wise, Marshawn Lattimore is still a top-tier cornerback, and then they have really good safeties in Marcus Williams and, and Malcolm Jenkins. Next up, we got the Seahawks. Russell Wilson, one of the best quarterbacks in the game. I love his mobility. You know, like I said, that's important to me. Uh, Chris uh, Carson is a really great powerback. 
back. I like a little bit more speed in my style. Offense to me, speed is king, but you can't deny he's a, he's a strong power back that's going to give you a lot of in between tackles runs. Uh, then you go to the receiving core, and that's really where they're going to you know stand out. In my opinion, Russell Wilson and these three receivers is what makes this team one of the best teams in the league. DK Metcalf, he's basically Calvin Johnson right now. 97 speed, six foot three, absolute monster. I could get it just talking about it. Dude's such a stud. Then you got Tyler Lockett, who's also really fast, and then they went and drafted Dwayne Eskridge. 95 speed here. This isn't the official roster, but 95 speed here gives you a good idea that this guy's going to be really fast. So we're going to have at least three receivers that are all elite speed receivers. The defensive side's kind of spotty, but they do have some good pass rushers. I think Kerry Hyder's a good pass rusher. Dunlap's a good pass rusher. Obviously, Bobby Wagner's an absolute monster, uh, one of the best linebackers in the game, and then you also have one of the best safeties in the game in Jamal Adams. Next up, we got the Packers. If Aaron Rodgers is isn't a 99 this year we should just you know not buy the game because the guy was the best player in the nfl last year he was mvp i mean he's got a lot of really good players around him aaron jones obviously is a great running back they drafted aj Dillon not too long ago too he was a second round pick so he's a solid running back that you can mix in Devonte adams is one of the best receivers in the game although ultimately they don't have a ton else other than that and robert tanyan came on as a, a tight end last year so they have some really good weapons on offense they have one of the best linemen in the league and david bakhtiari then you go to the defense. Their defensive front isn't great, although they do have some good run stuffers in Kenny Clark and Damon Harrison. Uh, linebacker-wise, though, I mean, Zedarius Smith's one of the best in the league. Uh, Rashawn Gary, obviously, is having some success. If he's getting a ratings boost, and he's looking pretty good. Then you go to the secondary, and this is probably the second strongest unit aside from some of their offensive weapons. Jair Alexander might be the best cornerback in the game. I mean, he's got great speed. Kevin King, I mean, you don't find six for three cornerbacks. They don't grow on trees. Still a young guy. You can work him up. And then they drafted Eric Stokes. I don't know if he's going to be a 97 speed cornerback but that's still i mean if you're six foot one and his speed's even close to that he's going to be a great prospect to work up and he'll pay immediate dividends just because of his speed alone and then the safeties are really good too darnell savage and adrian amos is a great safety team next up we got the bills this is one of those teams that has a great offense and a great defense they might be more known i'm not even sure what they're more known for i mean they were one game away from the super bowl so you know it's not hard to tell that they'll be here josh allen had an mvp caliber season last year i expect his ratings to be even higher maybe it'll be like a 95 overall quarterback i know his arm is a 99 that's the most important thing the dude's got a ton of throw power really good running back singletary moss and even matt braid is kind of a steal because he's a 97 speed i think he would be my starter personally if i were using the bills that alone makes me want to use the bills the receiving core is really strong stefan diggs is one of the best receivers in the game cole beasley's really durable great slot option then they brought in emmanuel sanders to complete that trio dawson knox is a solid tight end i guess they have some good linemen and Deion dawkins and mitch morse uh, and then on the defensive side, I mean, they have a lot of consistency, a lot of 80 overall plus players, not a lot of stars, but a lot of guys like uh, Jerry Hughes, good pass rusher, Mario Addison, Ed Oliver, to me, should be moving up the ranks. He's a stud player. Tremaine Edmonds, 87 speed, really good linebacker. Matt Milano is an 80 overall. Then you go to the cornerbacks. Once again, secondary, to me, is the most important part of a defense. Tredavious White's a top-tier cornerback. Levi Wallace and Teron Johnson fill out a very good uh, cornerbacking core. Then you got Mika Hyde and uh, Jordan Poyer, who is probably one of the best one-two punches when it comes to safeties in the league. Next up, we got the Ravens. Uh, to me, it's all about Lamar Jackson. I mean, how can you argue with, you know, the closest thing to Michael Vick was the 05 Michael Vick that, that we've seen in Madden. I mean, the speed's insane. The guy could do it all. Uh, they have some really good players around him this year that they didn't have last year. I mean, they do still have some good running backs in Dobbins and Gus Edwards. But they really added some receiving core power, which is something that this team really needed. I mean, they already had Marquise Brown, who's one of the fastest receivers in the game. And now you add another really good receiver, Sammy Watkins, and then they drafted Rashad Bateman. Now that's going to give them, he was a first round pick, so that's going to give them a really good three receiver duo. Tight ends wise, they've, they're always good there. Mark Andrews is great. Nick Boyle's solid. So they have some really good players there. Some great offensive linemen and Ronnie Stanley and uh, Kevin Zeitler, who they brought over. Defensive line's good too. Derek Wolf gives them some strength. Kalias Campbell's still one of the best defensive linemen in the game. Brandon Williams, like I said, very stout offensive line. All of them are really high strength guys. All of them are above or close to 90 strength, which is going to make them a very good run-stopping team. And then they also have some, uh, some pretty good linebackers. Patrick Queen from last year, 93 speed. Then you go to the secondary. Once again, secondary's king. 
So, you know, Marlon Humphrey's one of the best cornerbacks in the game. Marcus Peters, one of the best cornerbacks in the game. Jimmy Smith is still a really good option. They're just loaded in the secondary. Now, next up, we have a team that could be the best team in Madden. The only thing really holding this team back, in my opinion, is they don't have a little bit of a better quarterback, although Baker Mayfield did have a really strong year. So I would expect a ratings boost. He definitely has everything you need at quarterback. He's just not spectacular. Then you go to the running backs, and they're spectacular. Nick Chubb is an absolute monster. I love Nick Chubb. He's such a, a talent running back kareem hunt you can't i mean he's good enough to start on most teams and he's a backup here they also have some really good receivers though odell beckham jr is still here people forget he's one of the best receivers in the game jarvis landry is still really solid and they also went out and drafted a, a little known guy who's an absolute speed monster I think he's like a track star anthony schwartz that here they have him listed as a 99 speed i doubt he'll get that but he's one of the fastest guys in the nfl so work this guy up he's a rookie work him up austin hooper and, and david and will give you some really good uh uh, tight ends as well as far as the offensive line goes i mean joel batonio uh, wyatt teller jack conklin they have a really strong offensive line on the defensive side they have pass rushers for days miles garrett is one of the best pass rushing or defensive players in the league period i think he was in, in the running for defensive player of the year last year for a while olivia vernon too i mean you can't forget about him malik jackson Jadavion Clowney, the huge free agency addition that's two guys that you should have on the defensive line between him and miles garrett that should get pressure on just about every play they have some really good young cornerbacks. I thought they had a great draft. Denzel Ward is an elite cornerback, mostly because of his, his 95 speed. Then they have Greedy Williams, who was a second-round pick last year, 93 speed, 6'2". Greg Newsom, who was a first-round pick this year, who is, here they have him listed as 94 speed. Bottom line is you have three great cornerbacks for a long time. Then Grant Delpit, another good young player, who I think was a second-round pick, 6'3", with 88 speed. And John Johnson, who they brought in over from the Rams, who's one of the best, highest-rated safeties in the game. Now, the last two teams really shouldn't surprise anybody. They were in the Super Bowl last year, and they'll probably be in the Super Bowl this year. Uh, number two, I got the Chiefs. I mean, this team might have the best offense in the game, and it's mostly because of the human cheat code that is Patrick Mahomes and the human cheat code that is Tyreek Hill and the human cheat code that is Travis Kelsey. All three of these guys could be 9 and overalls. I don't think anybody would complain. They have a lot of really good supporting cast members, too, like Clyde edwards Lair, who had a really good rookie year, and McCole Hardman, who's super fast. He's a 97-speed guy. So nothing but speed and talent on the offensive side. They went and solved a couple issues on the offensive line. They brought in some pretty good players on the defensive side. Got some good pass rushers in Frank Clark and Chris Jones. They have a couple of good players like the Darius Sneed and obviously Tyron Matthews, an absolute monster, but they don't have enough to take the number one spot. The Buccaneers, however, are kind of like the Golden State Warriors in the NBA. There's just so much talent here. It's ridiculous. Uh, Tom Brady, I mean, I wouldn't want him in a franchise, but he might play to his 50. Who knows? Uh, but ultimately, he's still a really good quarterback. He's still got a lot of X factors and superstar traits and all that stuff that people are going to want to use. Then you go to the running back situation. They've got two running backs, Leonard Fournette, Ronald Jones. The receiving core is really where it starts getting unfair. I mean, Mike Evans is one of the best receivers in the game. Chris Goblin is one of the best receivers in the game. Uh, Antonio Brown is one of the best receivers in the game. And then you also have the fastest receiver on the roster at the fourth receiver position, Scotty Miller. Two great tight ends in, in Gronkowski and, and O.J. Howard. Then you get to the line, and they have three guys that were 89 overalls in Madden 21. Ali Marpet, Ryan Jensen, and rookie Tristan Wirfs. So the offensive line might be one of the best offensive lines in the league to go with all those weapons. On the defensive side, I mean, they just have a lot of stout defenders on the line. And Dominican Sue is a 94 strength. Vita Vale is a 97 strength. These guys are going to hold down the run. Uh, and then your pass rushers are, are pretty, uh, you know, there's a ton of them too with Shaquille Barrett. Uh, obviously, Jason Pierre-Paul on the other side, and then you have some great coverage backers like Le like Levante David, who's a you know he's one of the better zone coverage guys in the game, and then Devin White, who's one of the fastest linebackers in the game. The secondary is loaded too. I mean, you have three guys that are all within their rookie contracts. Antoine Winfield's young too and cheap. Definitely the best team in the game. So that's it. That's the video. If you guys want to see more stuff like this, like I said, sleeper teams would be the video I would do next. Uh, teams that you can build, stuff like that. Hit the like button and let me know in the comment section. Other than that, thanks for watching, man. My shit out. Need more help or just want to show your support? Then head over to my Patreon and join my team, where you can get exclusive content like ebooks and bonus plays, as well as early access to my vids and more. Link in the description below.